Good girl. Yep, out. I'm gonna ask again nicely. Good. Come here. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Come on. You're right. Good. 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 Nope, you're with me, not Lita. Thank you. And you're with Zor. Good. Good boy. Come here. Good girl. Yeah, you'll be all right. Nobody hits here. You can get used to that energy. You're never going to get over it if you don't get used to it. Just energy, girl. Doesn't mean I'm going to hit you. All right. So <clears throat> let's get Zor in the middle. Good. Good boy. Thank you. Good girl. And you're next. You're going to go on the other side. Too hard? Figure it out. Come on. You're not going near Lita. Come on. Good girl, Lita. You're fine. Good girl. Good girl, babe. Come. Uh, so this is a great example of allowing your horses to tell you how they feel about stuff. Callan does not want to join up the way I want him to join up. He wants to be with Lita. And that's why he's refusing. Out. And every time he stops, he stops in Lita's direction. Looks at Lita, looks at me and goes. Give them the opportunity, you guys. Allow it to become their idea or it'll never change eating grass is not going to happen on my time. Good girl, Lita. Good girl, Lita. Nope, don't go. Figure it out. Come on. Yep. Good. Good boy. Come on. Yep, you're going to go next. Yep, it's too hard. You're going to figure it out. You don't get to rule my herd. Okay? Zor does. Don't you kick at me either. So you're going to have to submit to Zor. And that's what he doesn't want to do. Good boy. Come. Yep, you guys stand next to him. You guys, he went to you. He didn't like it, but he didn't protest as much as you, Callan. You're going to have to stand next to Zor. Yes. Come on. Good. Good girl, Lita. You're good. You're doing good. Come. Come. Yep. Good. Come. Come on. Good boy. Come on. You're fine. Come on. Nope. You're going to stand next to Zor, not me. Come on. Oh my gosh, Lita is so in heat. The smell <laughs> is horrible. The fact that, come. Come on, you can come over here. Out. Out. Zor is not responding, which is, he doesn't get crazy about her as far as when she's in heat. Come here, Lita. He just loves her, period. And they're good buddies. You stay there. Good girl, babe. Good girl. You're doing good. Come on. Yep. Good boy. Good. Come on. Nope, you're with me. Good boy, Callan. Good boy. Come on. Come here. Well, you're going to have to trust me. So I'm going to put them on line. That's the beauty. You always have your rope halters. We're going to put Callan on line. Janine, I'll let you take care of this if you can just pick it up and put it safely. Hang it, babe, so they don't get caught up in it. All right, buddy. <clears throat> I'm going to help you by holding your hand now. Yes. So this could be a lack of confidence that I can keep him safe around Zor. Or this hor horses are very intelligent. Callan could be 
<clears throat> could be a combination too. Could be just telling me I don't want to try right now. I want to be in charge. Nope. Nope. No, you are not good boy, Zor. You're not going to blow through me, Callan. Zor is not going to touch you. Not with me here. Look at Zor. You behave yourself. I know. Zor, behave yourself. You don't need to be protective of me, which Zor is. So you guys are seeing how horses can be very possessive and very protective of you as well. When we brought Callan back the other week and we had him out, Zor and Lita were out here, and we, uh, I pulled the trailer in and, and we unloaded Callan and Zora was, you, it's hard to believe this horse can move so quickly, was like cutting Lita and cutting Callan from Lita and separating the two. And then I went to go get Callan and Zor just came out of nowhere and got right between Callan and I and cut him. So I understand Zor is very intimidating. He doesn't like Callan right now, but you two have got to figure it out. So I'm in a position where I have a lot of control over Zor without having a halter on, so I'm not worried. But Callan doesn't trust that I can protect him. Good boys. And he needs to learn that he's gonna be fine with me here. So it is building Callan's confidence. You guys are fine. And their focus, because Lita doesn't exist right now. Hi, Lita. Come here, girl. Zora, I saw that. You better watch yourself. Come here. Come on, girl. Come on. Good girl. Yes. This is the hug with the whip. Come on, girl. Good girl. I don't mind you being assertive, Zora. That was very polite with Callan, but right now I need him up. Ah, ah. I need him up here because Lita's here and I'm here. Ch -ch -ch. You're not in charge. Got it? You're not in charge. I am. I don't care. You're not in charge. No. Mm-hmm, you two, yeah, all right. That's friendly breathing, I'm fine. Come here, Callan. Zor, so help me God. Groom him and be friendly. All right. The important part of this is that you guys are in control of the situation. And I don't want you to just think, yeah, I can be in control. If your horses don't respect, don't know how to back up when you ask them to back up and stay connected to you, meaning you back them up and they fly off the handle and just take off, they need to respect you. They need to be able to stay focused on you. You need to reintroduce this dynamic. So this means when Janine and I get back from Italy, we're going to be working with the three of them. You'll continue your work with your two. Absolutely, but I need to bring him in, obviously. And so for Callan, he was protesting. He, you know, he kept avoiding. He knew exactly what I wanted. He was not being a bad horse at all. There's nothing about that exists in my language or in my thought process. I just knew that I needed to get stronger with Callan to convince him that he could trust me and that and I could build his confidence and I still couldn't freely unless I wanted to spend another hour. So I put him on line to hold his hand while I convinced him that I can keep him safe in this dynamic. He just didn't feel safe. And that's what I meant by allow your horses. It's great. Allow them to talk to you and tell you, express how they feel. He's like, look, I, I respect you, Caroline. He's saying, I want to come in, but I don't trust this dude. And I'm saying, okay, well, I need to really make sure that I can control this dynamic. And take charge. And control is not a bad word. It doesn't mean that I'm going to micromanage these horses and make them do things. It just means that I am in a situation with my skill sets and my knowledge that I know what to do if X, Y, and Z happens. And that's why this is a very advanced process. And I keep referring you guys back to my mastery membership training program to learn all the steps on how to get it great with one horse. Then you can work with the other horse and then you can work with both of them. These two groom each other. When Lita's not around and they're out in that big field, they groom each other. I'm okay with all this right now. 
Just don't bop me in the face. Come here. And I'm watching Zor more than anybody. Zor's number one right now because he controls both of these horses. So Lita controls Callan, but when the three are together, Zor controls everybody. Good. That's all right. Ah, did you nuts? Mm-hmm. You know what? I understand. Come here, Callan. Biggie, back up. And you come on over here. Zor, so help me God, I'll move your butt out. And you know you don't want to work. Good boy. So what am I telling these guys? They can be safe with me. Zor better watch his P's and Q's. So what I'm going to do now is take Callan off the halter. I'm going to put Lita on the halter because I don't want her to move. And she might get worried. And I'm going to send the two boys out together. So it's kind of like Lita's the bait right now, isn't it? And I don't want Lita to get oh, anxious about this. So I'm going to hold her hand. And I'm going to send the two boys out. Dora's going to be super lazy. Callan's going to be super... Um, responsive. <laughs> the opposites. Come on. Go on. You too. Come on. Zor out. Out. Oh, my lazy horse. Out. Nope. Out. Go on. Out. Go on, Callan. You too. Come on. Let's keep going. Let's go. Come on. Go on, you big oaf. Get out there. It's good for Lita. She does, I want her to stay here so she doesn't worry about anything. I need to move these guys. Good, good stretch. I need to move these guys. Come on, together. Because see, ah, yep. So Zor just pinned his ears. I knew that was going to happen. I want to provoke the situation because I can control it. But this is a perfect opportunity for a horse like Zor to go after Callan right now. Look at him throwing his butt to me. You're a sassy one. Get out there. Come on. So I'm going to provoke it. Create the opportunity. Don't you look at him. Zora's the troublemaker. Let's go. Good girl, Lita. Good. Let's go. What would I like to see that Zora would stop pinning at Callan and Zora would come in on the inside circle and stop chasing Callan and running him. Good, Zor. Good. I like Zor to get closer to me and leave Callan alone, yet work with Callan. Figure it out. You too. Come on. Figure it out. How to work together. It's a bottom line. How to be together and how to work together. Out. <laughs> I'm getting the F you big time, aren't I? Let's go. Yep. So my intention on Zor is shape up or you're going to keep working. Stop pinning your ears. Stop chasing into Callan's butt. Yep. I'm keeping my distance from the horses, meaning I'm staying in the center and giving them an opportunity for one of them to get closer to me so they don't run on top of each other. Zor is very familiar with working with two to three horses. Callan's not. But Zor is protesting. That's why he's not getting close to me. Good boy. Good Zor. Good Zor. But every time Zor gets close to me and gets close to Callan, he goes after Callan. Come on. Good Zor. Good. So when Zor does what I want, good boy Callan. Come on. Nope. Nope. I know you're not sure. Come on. I know. You're going to have to trust me in this. Build your confidence too. Good girl. Yep. I don't want you. You better stay out there. Come on. Go on. Go on, sassy. Go on. Callan, you too. Figure it out. Good girl, Lita. You stay there, girl. Good girl, Lita. Good girl, Lita. Good girl. You stay there, baby. Come on. Come on. Shh, out. Yep. Good girl, Lita. Good girl, Lita. 
Don't you take it out on him. Out, Callan. Figure it out. Zor. Lita. Good girl. Good boys. So I want some rhythm between the two of you. Okay? Good. Figure out where you both belong. Together. Good. Zor. Callan. That's fine. Keep going. Good girl, Lita. Come on. Catch up to Callan. That's what you get. Now you're getting in trouble. So Zor's, Zor's going to get the pressure and release principle. Because he's lazy by nature. So Zor does not like to work. And pressure out. Making this horse work right now, and he's a smart horse, is going to help him realize he's got consequences to his actions. Out. Good girl. It's excellent for Lita. I'm killing two birds with one stone here. Lita's confidence is growing. She's realizing that the energy and the intention is not about her right now. She's doing great. Good girl. Good. Come on. Come on. Good boy, Callan. Callan, you're doing fabulous. I'm going to change direction. Good girl, Lita. Excellent. Good. Good boys. I can also do this online. I could, come on. I could put both horses online and do this. And that's another strategy. Come on. Good. Good girl, Lita. You're doing fabulous. Good girl. Good, Zor. Figure it out, dude. Every time you pin your ears. Good girl, Lita. And act like an ass. And take it out on Callan. Now leave Callan alone and let him stand there while Zor has to go by. And every time Zor pins his ears, we put more pressure on him. Good. Nope. You go stand next to him. Out. Don't you rear and give me attitude, boy. Uh-uh. I said over there. over there. Your peace and quiet son is next to Callan, not Lita and not me. Move it. Good boy, Callan. You're doing fabulous. Go stand next to him and knock it off. Yep. He is your saving grace. Good. Your release is with that horse. Another good point. They don't get along, they keep working until they can stand next to each other peacefully. We know we don't have to worry about Callan. Zor's like the bully on the playground. Teacher told him not to pick on the kid, but he's gonna go eh, 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 every time he goes by Callan. And every time he does, I'm gonna catch it, I'm gonna light him up. You have to with a big horse like this. I don't need to run Zor into the ground. I would never want to do that. It's not my method. But I'm going to really get on his case every little thing he does wrong. And I have to. Very dominant horse. He is the ruler of his herd out there. Now Callan's come back. And we've got mares. Callan and Zor have been together for many years, but not with mares. And Zor needs to learn his place. So horses do operate well with conditioning. And I am conditioning Zor right now that when he acts like or thinks like a jerk and acts like a jerk, he gets a lot of pressure and a lot of work. And when he does what I want and what's appropriate behavior, he gets to rest because that's a big deal to this horse. Some horses don't care. They can go and go and blow. But this big boy, good boy, Callan. Come here, guys. Come here, babies. It's hot. Come on. Good. Not you. Good boy. Come here, bibs. Good. Come here. Come on, Zor. Good boy. Good girl, Lita. Ashta Lita. That was so good for you, especially. Good boys. Come here, sweet girl. Notch. Come here. Come. Interrupt that. Come. Good girl. Come on. You're fine. 
she's got to learn. She's just learning, you guys. What's appropriate behavior? I interrupted it with that. You're good. I'm going to put you right in the middle. Um, actually, I'm going to put you... Yeah, I'll put you right in the middle. Come here, sweetie. Good girl. So again, she's got to be on me. Knock it off. Good girl. Excellent. Good girl, Lita. Good girl. Lots of positive reinforcement. Really let these guys know when they're doing what you want. Good. Good girl. That's a good parallel. A backing in there. Not quite a parallel park, but excellent. I don't want Zor. Callan's doing great. Zor needs to do the same. Don't even look at Lita. Lita, don't even look at Callan. Right now. Yep. I know, Big. You don't do well in this heat. Mr. Zor. Knock it off. So as much time as you guys can spend also being quiet and having your horses stand together is excellent too because everything is about the mindset. Let's go. Nope. This way. Yes. On Callan is not the answer. So I want this horse to be more concerned about me, you guys, and that includes getting bit by this whip than she is about what she needs or wants. I am really firm about that, and I know that it upsets a lot of people that enjoy my gentle, loving way, but I am also firm, as you can tell. I'm, and this horse has had plenty of work with me. She's not a new horse to this method. If she was, I wouldn't come on this strong. So I'm not advising that you guys do. This horse has been with me for years. All three of them. Yep. You better give me two ears and two eyes, Missy. Good girl. Good boy, Callan. Callan is so chill, he could smell her. All he wants, Zor's not too bad either. It's Lita. Cause, yep. Yep, I don't mind the boys smelling her, but it's her right now. It's shifted. You're fine, Zor. You guys have to learn how to read that and pay attention to that. What I'd like to see, and we saw some of this in the part one, last week's video, is that Lita can just stand here resting and not be interested in Callan at all. That's what I'm looking for. I don't mind the boys touching her because they're real relaxed and real chill. I need Lita to be there now. I love. Oh, I know. I don't like to run you that much when it's hot. But you're a stinker today. Stinker with the kicking out at me. Oh, my gracious. We've had to work a lot on developing respect for me, for people, not just me, for people in general. You've been one of the most disrespectful horses I've ever met. But you learned that too. Good boy. Nope, you stay there, Bix. Lita, I'm going to have you over here with Zor. Come on. Good. You can stand in the shade. You're good. Yep. You're good in the shade. Good boy, Callan. Come on over here, sweetheart. Good. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Good boy, get you guys out of that heat. Lita's still in the heat. All right, let's move Lita between. Let's give her something to do. Get you in the shade too, good girl. Go on that way, go on. Yep, you have a task, think, instead of looking like you're gonna flip out on me, think. So going in between the two horses requires thought and going towards Callan is a no. Come on, come on, start thinking Zora, come here. Come here, right now. Yep. Thank you. You can stay right there. And you, Missy, are going to work between the two boys. Come on. And come on. Figure it out. Start thinking is what I'm asking this horse to do. Let's go. Let's think. Good girl. Just sending you back and forth. 
just like it's an open gate. Good. I knew I was going to have a problem with Zor when I first brought him in here, you guys, because he wanted to smell manure as soon as he stepped into the training field. And his eyes were glued on Lita and Callan. That's why he left me. Yep, I just want to walk, but you don't need to be looking at me. Good. You need to be thinking. You don't need to be looking at him either. Yep. Good. You need to be focused on where I'm focused. Good girl. So she's having a, her weight looks excellent, Janine. Where she's having a focused exercise right now. Good girl. Yep. Good. Good girl. Good girl. So the, one of the hardest things for you guys to get comfortable with, to learn, is feel and timing. And it takes experience, not just skill, you guys. You can't really teach feel and timing. You can to some degree, but what I mean is how do you know when to release, retreat, approach, put pressure on? Hey, baby, when do you know how much? And everyone asks that, and I sympathize with you. It takes time. You have to practice this. You have to be willing to make mistakes and ask for forgiveness. Say you're sorry, I didn't mean that. Oh my gosh, your horse will know. I, my, te my horses were my best teachers. I made lots of mistakes, but they were learning opportunities. Meaning, if I didn't learn from them, then they would be real mistakes. And my horses and I wouldn't be where we are today, and I wouldn't be where I am today. So don't be afraid to come in here and play around with this. You know, always start out with us. Very subtle request, and then you can get bigger. Because the more subtle you are, the more you're asking your horse to pay attention to that subtlety. That's the key. If you're always loud, then they're always expecting you to scream at them before they hear you. And eventually they're gonna check out and get dull, just like we will in any relationship. Hi, Baba. So I always start out really light. That is where my back hurts, thank you. I always start really light and quiet, but she's got three seconds, one, two, three, and then I'm bringing it up. Because these guys all have a solid level of education with this method. They've had years with this method. So they get three seconds and they're fast seconds. A new horse gets three tries. There are no seconds. They just get three opportunities to get it and we take our time. So I still don't like, even though Lita's quiet, I don't like the look in her eye. Her eyes are all bugged out. She's all stressed out. She doesn't quite get what's going on. And that's why we've got to keep doing this until she becomes comfortable with, yeah, this is the way I need to act. And I can get in trouble and not make it personal. There's no hitting here. I get big with you and loud with you because you are difficult. You are difficult. You are not the type of horse I can go light with. I can start out light. That is my ponytail, son. I can start out light. Now you're not, if you can get that off, go for it. I always wanna start out light, but sometimes I just have to scream at this horse because she's difficult. She's always gonna be this way. Sundance is 18 now. Sundance has always been challenging in a different way, but still challenging. I think at her age now, magically at the age of 18 this year, Sundance is just, and we never work together. And when I go to work with her and ask her, she's just amazing now. So age, you might need a little bit more time. There you go sleeping, a little bit more time. You're 13. So get to know your horse, get to know their personality, their nature, when they're around other horses, um, where they are in the hierarchy, not pecking order, hierarchy. Hierarchy is established. And when you have a healthy herd, it's all about hierarchy. They don't fight anymore. Pecking order, is a, it's pecking. They're about fighting. And really that only happens in natural wild horse herds when they're babies, because they're trying to figure out how they fit in. And then the elders, the older mares, the mothers, the sisters, the aunts, the grandmothers, they help to teach them how they fit in, which is called hierarchy. 
Azor is at the top in his, in his herd. Lita's right there, she's his mate. They handle the big herd beautifully together. <clears throat> Callan's come in, he's an awesome horse, it's not his fault. He can't help the fact that he's crazy about her, and I get that. But the only way these guys are ever gonna get along is if we keep working like this until they can just be here and chill. And he's not pinning his ears, he's the easiest. And she's always asking a question first with her person, whether it's me or Janine. Okay, am I here with you or can I relax with them? Eventually, I'd like them to be grooming each other. I just don't want them being aggressive. I don't want her to be so far up his butt, so to speak, that you can't get her to come. That's absolutely unacceptable that I can't ask her to leave him and come to me. That's unacceptable in my book. And I don't want him mounting her or chasing other horses. So when Zor's not in the picture, these guys, uh, well, yeah, I was gonna say these two cannot be together. No, it's all new. It's new for Callan, it's new for Lita, new for Zor. This way of working, um, I do it with horses that don't get along. I do it with horses that are higher up on the hierarchy that need to be humbled a little bit. To ev good boy, you can do it. To evil out the, even out the playing field, as I call it, so that you know they're more equals. It's just amazing how effective this kind of work is. All right, that's all I have to say about this today. When we come back in two weeks, we'll pick up where we left off because it'll be two weeks. Yeah, babies, and you guys are gonna get hosed down. Um, by the way, last week it was amazing when Janine led these two horses out after our first session. She, was, she had them both ground tied in the wash rack together. So ground tied looked like this, lead ropes over their backs, side by side, and she was able to bathe both of them and they were perfect. And they weren't exhausted, they were perfect. Really, what are you saying to him? You better be saying you're sorry. He's a tough cookie. Trust me, this one's a tough cookie too. The more dominant the personality, the tougher they are. It's like being a hard head, hard headed, stubborn, the harder it is to learn. Okay, but with maturity, I've gotten a lot better. <laughs> with age, just like Sundance, we've gotten a lot better. So there is hope for you, my dear. My dear. He's just watching William. Alrighty, I look forward to your comments. Stay tuned. We'll be back at this, you guys, to show you some progress and to show you some more opportunities for you to learn. Um, again, feel free to comment. I came on strong for a reason. I've got two dominant horses. The point is, is you don't want to come on strong all the time. It's like yelling and screaming. And it's just, it's, it's not working. Thank you, Bubba, I love you too. I know you're sorry. I know you're always sorry. At first you just are a jerk. And then you're sorry. <laughs> May you always be one with your horse.